Alright, it's been a long time since I've done one of these, but what's going on? Etika here, bringing you another real life vlogs. I'm just going to be talking about stuff that's going on with me and the progression of the YouTube channel and stuff that I'm going to be doing with you guys. Now, in the most recent news as to how your boy Etika is doing, now you guys all know that. With my Pokemon narrations, I usually go outside and I do the narrations on my phone, right? I do them for my damn phone! <laughs> Dudes! So anyways, I wake up this morning, right, and I'm like, oh, I, I, I'm with my girlfriend. I'm like, hey, babe, how's it going? She's like, nothing much. Your phone's acting weird. And I'm like, really? What's wrong with it? How's it acting weird? It turns out that when I got my phone, it was acting a little strange, too. So I'm like, oh, okay, I guess I got to freaking, you know, like turn it off and turn it back on again. So I do that, and then I start seeing, wait a minute, what the hell's going on here? I can't freaking touch the buttons. Something's wrong here. I don't know what's going on. I can't touch anything. It's not working. And then I'm, I'm, so I'm saying I can't scroll through pictures. I'm trying to get off this damn carving picture and it's not letting me do so. But yeah, I don't know what the hell's going on. So I'm trying to get this damn phone to work and nothing's going. So turns out I go outside, right? And I'm like, it's all good. I'll just probably do like a hard reset. So I do the reset. Now I'm going to do it right here for you guys. You hold down the power button for like, I think it's like 10 seconds or something. Yeah, you hold down the power button, it'll eventually turn off, and then it'll restart itself. You'll see the Google logo pop up really soon. There we go, Google. Anyways, so I'm outside, and I'm saying to myself, all right, after a quick, like, reset, a hard reset like that, the phone should be perfectly fine, because, you know, I guess it does that sometimes, although it never did that before, because this is a Nexus 4, by the way. A really, really good phone. Really good phone for the money. It's, um, the Nexus line is really, really, it's like a good phone, but it's a bad battery. But anyways, I've been complaining about the phone's battery all the time up until now because the, the battery pretty much is ass. Like if you, even if the phone has really great specs, if the battery's bad, what's the point of having those great specs if it won't last throughout the day, you know? Fuck the day, it won't last an hour. <laughs> Not really, but I mean still. Anyway, so the phone is good now, right? And so the phone restarts, right? And I'm outside and I'm saying, okay, so now I should be able to use this thing no problem. And so I'm trying to like scroll through um, what the hell's going on? Why can't I click anything? What's up with this phone? And it, it's glitching. I can't do anything with this, man. I don't know what the hell's going on here. I don't know if it's in focus or not, but I can't do anything with this goddamn phone. Turns out there's a huge, and I mean a fucking massive crack on the side of the phone. Like, if we go here, like, let's zoom up a little bit. I highly doubt we'll be able to see, but, um, oh wait, I can just change it to manual focus. Okay. So we're on manual, right? Let's see if we can get the focus in on the phone a bit. Um, okay, so here we go. Now, if we take a look, come on, focus, I know you can do it. Fine, okay, anyways, it's in focus now, right? You won't be able to see it exactly, but there is a crack on the side of the phone right here. Um, it goes from the top, yeah, you can see it now, I think. Let me, let me wipe the screen down, because you'll be able to see it better once the screen is wiped down. Anyways, so now, here we go. As you can see here, you see that? You see that? I gotta go to the white screen again. Oh, but I, of course I can't. I can't go to the white screen because the phone is fucked up. Yeah, exactly. Oh, God damn it. Either way, the point is, is that the phone is fucked. It is officially fucked. And I'm just like, wow, I... I can no longer touch any of the buttons on this thing. The crack somehow took off the sensitivity of the entire touchscreen. So, and it's Gorilla Glass too. I don't know how the damn crack happened. I woke up in the morning and she said the phone was cracked. I thought she dropped it, but apparently she woke up and it was like that. So it was dropped sometime in the middle of the night. I don't know. Anyways, the phone has a crack. It doesn't work anymore. So that sucks. I mean, the phone, I was planning on replacing it anyways. I didn't even have service on the thing because, you know, service is expensive. I bought it unlocked and all that kind of sucks though because I can't do my outside narrations anymore but I didn't I never really started them ever since I did the whole revamp thing so it's all good but now I got to get me a new phone and so I'm gonna be handling that in the future I'm probably gonna be getting me the Oppo Find 7 since it will be the most popular phone in the world when it comes out but um yeah that's just one thing that happened to me so that really sucks in terms of other news now as you can see in the video title sorry about the pauses my throat's kind of clogged up <laughs> There we go. Okay. Now, in the video title, you guys can see that I bought a Pokemon Showdown. And the reason why I bought it up is because, I, you know what? I had a strict no Pokemon Showdown policy on my channel for a long time now. Calm down, viewer. What are you doing? Calm down. Calm down. Why is it, why is it going hard for? What the hell is going on here? What the hell is going on here? Calm down, computer. 
You hear that, right? Like, it's going hard for some reason. Anyways, so I kind of had like a no showdown policy on my channel for a long time, and I was saying, you know, it's kind of like unmodern because, you know, times change, and, you know, along with times changing, if I don't change, I'm going to be left behind. I'm going to be stagnant. So from now on, there will be Pokemon Showdown battles uploaded to the channel, but they won't be classified in the same way as Pokemon Wi Fi battles. So. Yeah, expect little videos with competitive battles in them, with the whole Pokemon Showdown thing. I'm not going to be doing them like as the main course. You know, the main course is still going to be Wi-Fi battles, so don't worry about any of that. And also, Titanfall coming out, too. You know, I'm going to make a lot of Titanfall videos. They haven't been getting as many views as the other stuff that I've been posting, but I still hope that you guys can look to the Titanfall stuff and enjoy it. Because, you know, I put a lot of work into those videos, and I think you guys would enjoy it. It's a crazy game, and I think it's one that a lot of people who are on this channel can enjoy from watching, so... Yeah, check it out, man. It's kind of fun, you know? Don't don't just categorize the Titanfall as being something that you're not going to be interested in. I think it's interesting to check out, you know? At least let me know if you like it or not, and then... But, anyways, I'm rambling on. This has been a weird status update. Damn, man, my fucking phone, man. Ah! But, you know, this motivates me because it's kind of like giving me that idea that I have to upgrade myself, you know? So this is kind of something to work towards, you know? If I really want that nice, fancy phone and a place of my own in general, I need to really put in a lot of work, you know? So, um, anyways, thank you guys for tuning in. I'll talk to you in the next video. Take care of yourselves. And of course, as usual, please have yourself a damn, please have yourself a damn good one. And please be careful with your phones because you never know when that one crack will just fuck up everything. And definitely did for me.